So I have been home, I think for like a month now. Um, I finally am able to move without being in excruciating sharp pain. I'm still on painkillers, but I can like move now, so that's good. Um, I broke my rib, so it's been really hard and I've been really bored. There's only so much TV that one can watch. I've been trying to find different things to do. And you kind of, like, it gets to you, like, you do a lot of thinking. So I've been eating a lot of food. I have, when I was younger, like a kid, I wasn't a big sweet tooth kid. But, I don't know, I've been, like, I don't know, this past month, I've just, like, I don't know where this sweet tooth came from, but it's getting really bad. So I thought I would just share with you this useless video of me being at home and sharing some of my snacks. They recently opened an Asian market right by my house, so that's really nice. It's literally like a minute away, Hong Kong market. So it's like the best thing that ever happened to me in this past two months that I've been sick. Uh, I went out actually for the first time today. That was not the doctors or the hospital acupuncture, nothing medical related with my mom, so that was a big improvement. I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame, but it's like I can walk, so that's good. I'm not like screaming in pain. And I bought some snacks, and I have just been growing my sugar addiction. It's really bad, but it's like right by my house. It's gonna be such a blessing and a curse. Okay, so first I bought, actually I'll do what's already opened. This isn't from the Asian market. This video has absolutely no plan or organization. I'm just talking because I'm trying to pass the time. I'm so bored. I've been wanting, I'm like, I get a headache from watching so much TV now. And sleeping's uncomfortable. Like everything's just like getting on my nerves. I'm just making this video. I bought these from Amazon. It's on sale. Pack of 24, I believe, for 13 bucks. My favorite's actually the grapefruit, but those are always expensive. Never goes on sale. Um, it was like 13 or 14 bucks for a set of 24. It's pomegranate. It's not as good as a grapefruit, but I'm not super rich. It's still really good. Um, I like these because it's not soda. It's sparkling juice. Um, I just like to tell myself that it's healthy. I don't know if it is. Who knows? I just like to pretend it's healthy. Um, I really like this brand. Well, no, I just really like the pomegranate one. This one's okay. I wouldn't get it again, though. Okay, so the next is nothing special. Hershey's milk with almonds because I ate my mom's chocolate almonds that she bought from the neighborhood kids fundraising. Bought this for her, but I'm probably going to end up eating it. So I actually bought it for myself. Now the next is this aloe vera drink. I actually already opened it before hitting record because it takes my whole energy in opening like bottle shit like this because my hands and so I already like I already opened it using my whole body strength and it just my whole body strength required to open this. So you can so you can imagine me with like pasta pickle jars. Stuff like pasta sauce jars. I guess I should have recorded me how I open it. That would be more Life of Door vlog. I'll do stuff like that next time, but I already opened it. Um, so this is a... I don't know if Asians invented this. But um, most Koreans and Asians know this drink. I wouldn't be surprised if Asians invented it. Because we are known for eating weird food and everything. Although I don't think it's weird. It is the plant, aloe, the aloe plant, aloe, whatever. Wait, this is in Spanish, right? Bebida de savila. I forgot all my Spanish. It's be I think bebida's drink, and so savila must be aloe, right? So I guess it's not just Asian. If you haven't tried it, it is super refreshing. The closest thing I would compare it to is like 
It's cotton. It would be grape juice if I had to pick a fruit, but it's definitely not grape juice. It's its own flavor. It's like super refreshing. It's not tarty though. Um, and it doesn't taste like plant, if that's what you're thinking. Like, oh my God, I'm just eating like green plant juice. It's really good. Really refreshing, yummy, sweet. I love the aloe chunks in it. You know, we're known for eating weird stuff, Asians, but I don't think this is weird. I don't know, it's delicious. All right, the next thing is yogurt, or as some say, yakult. Like that's super white way of saying it, yakult. Um, these little things, I, this isn't the one I usually, these are not the ones from the Asian market. I think my mom got it at Costco. So if you've been seeing these at Costco and curious about them and wondering, will I like it? You will like it because these things are freaking delicious. One time I finally accomplished my lifelong dream of having more than this tiny bottle. I got a bunch of them and filled it in a huge mug and drank it. And people were kind of like, my friends were like, you're gonna get a stomach ache. You know what, I didn't get a stomach ache. And one in every five of these are super hard to open. These little green caps are little bitches. Sometimes they open well and sometimes they don't. So I just opened it really ugly. So these are probiotic yogurt drinks and I don't know how to explain it. It's just like really good. There it is, probiotic culture dairy, but just kidding, this is stupid. I just realized it's gonna be backwards on the camera. Wait, is it backwards? Well, I feel really dumb right now. Or does it show up correctly? Wait, now I'm confused. Oh wait, it is Korean. Wow, okay. Mmm. I swear I can eat the whole pack of these, or like a hundred of them. Okay, next is dried mangoes. I believe they sell the big, bigger package at Costco, but they have this mini size at Hong Kong Market. I'm super excited. I love this, the Philippines brand. Um, I think these are one of the most addicting things ever. It's like sugar in a paradise tropical form. You know, it's super annoying because I have a problem opening like almost everything in life. Like I don't know how I'm gonna survive. But I'm only 27 and I still got a lot of years ahead. This Shang will not open. Um, this is how I end up crying a lot. I just wanna eat something and I can't open it. Like sometimes like nobody's home. Oh, I got it. I mean, eventually I'll get it, but it, I mean, sometimes we're just trying to make some freaking pasta and I can't open, like I already have the onion sauteing and stuff and then I'm like, oh, I forgot I can't open the damn pasta sauce jar. And so I'm like using my whole body to open it. I cannot keep using my body energy to open shit. Um, I mean, I got it eventually, but it's just like so. Mm. I think dried mangoes are the best dried fruits. So it's like sugar on a yellow stick. Mm. So to close this, I won't be eating the last snack I'm showing you, but um, I just wanted to share something about myself. I have a very addictive personality, if you did not know. By that, I don't mean I'm so addicted. I get really addicted to stuff. I feel like, especially even food, I feel like I'm always a pregnant woman because if I want sushi, I need to have sushi. If I want chocolate, I need to have chocolate. If I need dim sum, like I need dim sum. And then whatever phase I'm in, whether it's like dim sum, pho, Korean food, sundubu, for instance, like I want to eat it every day depending on the phase I'm in. I've been having a crazy, um, uh, what is it? sugar phase like I've been telling you about in this video and specifically like sour candy. It's weird I was never a candy person when I was a kid and now I'm like old and I want it. I go crazy. I ended up buying a box of what I've been recently into. 
Haribo Sour Gummy. Um, I got a pack of 12 on Amazon, so that's the problems I've been dealing with. That, my respiratory, my ribs, and my sugar high. So thanks guys for watching this absolutely pointless video. Um, I recently got my voice. Well, it's not that I didn't have a voice. It was just, it like was painful to talk when I inhaled. Because it was like right, my ribs right here. So I didn't even talk like all last week. I barely replied to my mom. Um, I think vlogging is kind of like a coping mechanism for me. Vlogging, vlogging, but I'm too lazy to type. You can tell my voice is running out because I kind of talked. For the first time in a while, it's still kind of, I mean, it, like when I do breathe, when I do deep inhales, it still hurts, so. Actually, it's almost time for my meds. Thanks. Let me know what some of your favorite snacks are and how you cope with being sick um, and what you do at home when you're really sick. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Me and all my junk food. I need to eat healthy as soon as I can.